Luca in Italy writes to me, Luca here, <laughs> asking a little question. All right, my friend. I was thinking to myself, just looking, to some balanced turntables that offer both RCA and XLR connections, but I didn't catch the point of the connections from the tone arm. How can it be made to work in both ways? Obviously not simultaneously, but since it has just one 5-DIN plug. I ask for the sake of knowing and to enrich my knowledge. Thanks in advance if you manage to read and answer my mail. Okay, Luca. Um, I'm not entirely clear on your question, uh, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So basically, let's start with the difference between a balanced and an unbalanced phono cartridge. Most turntables, the vast majority of turntables, tone arms, and cartridges are all single-ended. They have RCA single-ended outputs, which is in one way very strange because 100% of all cartridges of any moving magnet or moving coil are all balanced, right? They are coils, and coils, by their very nature, have a push-pull arrangement that comes out. And from a noise standpoint, from any number of standpoints, you'd be much better off using them balanced because that's what they are. For some reason that I don't understand, and probably somebody on the comment section is going to jump in and go, you knucklehead, here's why. That's just not the way that it's done. Now, we are producing a new... PMG Signature Phono. This will be the best phono stage I have ever been a part of in 50 years. And this phono stage is, was designed by Darren Myers, my good friend and our, once our, our engineer and he left, oh, Darren. <laughs> um, this was Darren's, I mean, he just put his heart and soul into this and he and I went back and forth listening and. And I think I've told this story before of how it separates the surface noise of, of the record. But anyway, I won't go into all of that. One of the things Darren did is gives you the choice of going balanced or unbalanced. And I would suggest that going forward, as many manufacturers of phono preamplifiers, tone arms, and turntables as possible should offer that choice like we do on the upcoming PMG Signature Phono. So I think the answer to your question, since this has a five pin DIN connector, which is unusual, um, and our Phono preamp does not have a five pin DIN plug-in, so I don't know what you're gonna do with it unless you had an adapter. What should have is a pair of RCA cables, or even XLR would be even better, but where the outer shell of the RCA is not tied to ground. It is part of the signal and balance, and that would be a function of the preamplifier itself to where it can accept, because most preamplifiers for phono stages have their input, the, the outer shell of the RCA connector tied to ground, as do many, many turntables and, and arms. So I hope that sort of helps out, but it's a direction I'd love to see us all go, okay? Thanks.